name is David Brinkman. The summer of 1969 was not just a popular song for singer-songwriter Brian Adams. Most people will associate this period with the first moon landing, which 50 years later is still considered one of the greatest human achievements. But the summer of 69 also marked two technological achievements that have profoundly affected all of our lives. In August of that year, Ken Thompson took advantage of some free time when his wife and child were away for the month. Thompson, who was working on a project at Bell Labs, would lay down the framework for the Unix operating system in just one month. Dennis Ritchie would soon join him and a few years later would create the C programming language. These two developments are among the greatest in the history of computer science. Back in 1969, a couple of computer scientists here at Bell Labs started to develop some programs they needed for their own use. What Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie started developing then has evolved into the Unix operating system, which by now is widely used around the world. We were trying to make computing as simple as possible. In the late 1960s, Dennis Ritchie and I realized that the then current operating systems were much too complex. We attempted to reverse this trend by building a small, simple operating system on a mini computer. Well, what we wanted to preserve was not just a good programming environment in which to do programming, but a system around which a community could form, fellowship. We knew from experience that the essence of communal computing, as supplied by remote access time-sharing systems, is not just to type programs into a terminal instead of a key punch, but to encourage close communication. As for many, July 20th of 1969 was a day to remember. My parents allowed me to stay awake past my bedtime that night to watch Neil Armstrong take the first steps on the moon. What an inspiration that was. There he is, there's a foot coming down the step. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. Armstrong is on the moon, I'm Neil Armstrong. 38 year old American, standing on the surface of the moon. On this July 20th, 1969. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Well, for thousands of years now, it's been man's dream to walk on the moon. Right now, after seeing it happen, knowing that it happened, it still seems like a dream. With a little help from my uncle, who was an engineer working at the Kennedy Space Center, I developed a love for science and technology. Specifically, I got into model rocketry and wanted to become an astronaut. The physical, educational, and military requirements at that time, however, would ultimately steer me away from being an astronaut. But an interest in electronics would lead me to an engineering degree and a love for software development. My first exposure was the C programming language and email access over the network that would soon become the internet. Over 30 years later, here I am, using Unix, and writing software using the C programming language and its successor, C++. Taking a phrase from the old Saturday Night Live, Unix been very, very good to me. 1969 still had one more stunning development to give. The first network message was sent over the ARPANET in 1969 from a computer science laboratory at UCLA to the second network node at Stanford Research Institute. This marked the official beginning of the internet. The Unix operating system would become the heart of this internet. Today, Unix is everywhere. 67% of all computer devices in the world are running Unix. All Android and Apple devices are Unix. All Linux and BSD distributions are Unix. It's used by the U.S. Department of Defense, FAA Air Traffic Control, NASA, space robots, self-driving cars, your car, supercomputers, Kindle, Chromebooks, the New York Stock Exchange, Japanese high-speed train, nuclear submarines, most wireless routers, almost all smart home appliances and smart devices. Sony PlayStation 3 and 4, Nintendo Switch, Large Hadron Collider, and
and the San Francisco High Tech Traffic Control System are just a few examples. The life of Unix would be brought into question in the mid-1990s. I was working for the NCR Corporation in Columbia, South Carolina, where we developed and produced world-leading Unix servers. Our customized Unix was the first multiprocessor Unix in the world. In the spring of 1994, however, our director of engineering informed the Unix developers that Microsoft's NT operating system would soon take over Unix, and he predicted Unix would be gone in a few years. It was a sad and disturbing day for the developers, but what could we do? Doing music on the side, I did the only thing I could. I wrote a parody song. To the tune of American Pie, it was titled Rasui and Vi, The Day Unix Died. A couple of years later, I went through the painful process of making it into a music video using a Microsoft operating system. So, on the 25th anniversary of this parody, and the 50th anniversary of Unix and the Internet, here's the remastered music video which can also be viewed in 3D and virtual reality headsets. I hope you enjoy, and long live Unix. Being the first uh, provider of Unix commercial service, uh, Unix is an operating system that is used in uh, transaction environments, and we were one of the first to bring those to market in the early 1980s, and from there, reliability and availability. i 
transmission my disc for Windows oh my and the programmers here are trying hard not to cry thinking this will be the day that I die this will be the day that I die I told my coach say it's not so are you headed out to scale I O? but she just smiled and turned away I went down to the computer store where I'd seen the Unix years before but the man there said the Unix wouldn't boot but in the halls designers teamed in the field customers screamed no one was spoken the internet was broken that I use most, the LS copy and the mighty truss, they all dumped core on the bus the day that Unix died. And we were singing, bye bye Rasui and bye, I partitioned my disk for Windows, oh my. And the programmers here are trying hard not to cry Singing this'll be the day that I die This'll be the day that I die Bye, bye, Rasui, and bye I partition my disk for Windows, oh my And the programmers here are trying hard not to cry Singing this'll be the day that I die